Hey, cool shirt. Where'd you get it? You think I let my daughter date you? Huh? Not a guy that leaves his feet in scat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Da daughter can't. Daughter can't date some prairie boys. CJ, you all right, man? See, my daughter could date you. He'd be all right. I like you. <laughs> this T squared guy. I don't know about him though. Huh, TT? For the first time since 2013, the University of North Dakota's season debut doubles as their home opener. The Fighting Ox set to take on the Delta Devils of Mississippi Valley State. Mississippi Valley State's bringing a lot of pressure to test those guys. And they beat it right here. Travis Toivonen locking in for the score. Robinson. The left edge, Tank Harris making the hit, loose football, North Dakota recovers on the goal line. Going to throw, looking deep for Wanzik, and he's got him, Noah Wanzik with the grab. Fowler, pressure, drops. Oliveira now on first down, bursting his way. It felt really good uh, to be back on the field, you know, being injured last year. Um, we grinded hard this year, and it was just good to be back out there playing the game that I love. All together, I feel like we came out pretty solid, offense and defense. Found a groove, and it was definitely a fun time to get it going. Jackson Turner, how about a pop from the backside? James Johansson into the end zone. Even though it was a little bit unknown with Mississippi Valley State coming in, new coaching staff, new coaches, our guys handled that situation pretty well. We were excited to go out and play, and I thought our guys played uh, with some confidence. You know, overall, I thought we did, did pretty well. You know, there are some things we obviously got to work on, but, uh, you know, we're coming together as a group. We're getting inside. We're getting fit. We need a guy over there. Get fit. Here we go. SF run, the run block. Here we go. Do not come off your point. This is how we're going to block all day on Saturday. Cut! Everything starts with the O-line. That's the, that's the heart and soul of the team. Like, you can't run the ball without them. You can't like, throw the ball. There's no pass protection. So basically, those, those are the five core guys that make this team run, and I love those guys. We really thought, like, we got to change the culture here. Like, we're, we're always down in the media. Like, they always don't like us. We're not doing good, but... And then they, we always thought we wanted to be the best group on offense, and that's what we're really trying to prove this year. We really want to come out and show that we can do more than we've done in the past because there's obviously been a lot of criticism around the O-line saying we're not good enough, and we just want to prove everyone wrong. You see it now? You see it now? You know, I think we're all quiet guys, which is awesome. You know, it's... Uh, they're quiet, but they get work done. And when you have a bunch of quiet guys that get work done, you're, you're gonna be productive. And you know, they, they don't wanna talk about themselves. They hate being on camera, just like their coach. They're, uh, they're, they're definitely even kill, but you piss them off a little bit, it's fun to watch. Like, I love it. It's one of those things that it's, it's all about us. It's not about anybody else. It's about who we are, what we do. When one messes up, we all mess up. So that's how we kind of take our approach. You know, we, we need to keep progressing as a group to get to be that heart and soul of the team. We've got to keep being physical, smart, tough, and we've we got to get after people.
right, here we go, left cash. It's all about preparation, and that's what you do. You look at uh, Washington, obviously they're a very talented football team, one of the most talented in all of college football, and when you get to play a team like this, it's a tremendous opportunity and very challenging because they just don't have any weaknesses. You gotta know that they're gonna have good players and they're gonna make good plays, but you just gotta focus throughout the week and just learn the game plan and just come ready to go when it's time. When we played Utah, I felt like we were a little nervous, like expecting them to be so much better, but I felt like we we could have played a lot better coming out. Um, so I feel like we kind of got the nerves out of the way and we just want to play football and take it to them. It's a big challenge and it's a big opportunity for us to make some noise in college football. We just have to be detail sound, no mental mistakes and just work, work, work and put our nose down and really get down to it. This is going to be a huge challenge for us but really exciting for our team and we want to prepare as well as we can and then we got to focus on our performance and see what we can do to move the football and keep points off the board. Basically, you got to look at it with like the same mentality as you look at every game, just coming in and doing the same kind of stuff, executing the offense, and coming out with no fear because you can't come out with an opponent like that and have be scared. We all know they have a great team, but they have been in the past proves it, so we just got to play hard. If we know where we're going, know how to get there and work together, I think uh, we can do what needs to be done to win this game. Um, it's going to be a challenge, but you got to be tough and it's going to be a battle, so we're ready though.